TLO, what's poppin'? We are on KICK.com. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right above me, this is the channel that you can catch any um, highlights from the live if you happen to miss it. Um, don't forget, we do got merch, man. Appreciate everybody who be copping it. Want to let y'all know, this is not printed merch. This one is printed, but any other shirt you see, and the back of this one is printed. But any, like the front, the, that's all embroidered, just to let you know. So it's not washing off. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not none of that. Uh, Monday through Friday, we do Patreon. This is the Monday through Friday how it looks. Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. Uh, and the link to all of this is down below in the description. Just click what it says, link, link tree, click it. Everything will pop up. This is a poncho, man. It's one of those videos, man. Police catch a child, R word, at a motel with kid. They caught him in the act? At around 6.15 p.m. on the 18th of February, 2021, a report watch. came into the Volusia County Sheriff's Office in Florida from a concerned grandmother. She told the call handler that her 13-year-old granddaughter never arrived home after her basketball game. In fact, why I gotta be in Florida though? Like, oh my god! See, this is why Florida's a spooky place to be in, man. It's like got a bunch of serial killers. There's a bunch of rape. there's a bunch of everything here, man. In fact, she added that after speaking with some of her friends, she found out that she hadn't even attended the game. This was out of character for the young teen, and so Deputy Royce James was dispatched to investigate the missing persons case. Deputy James, an officer with Volusia County since 2016, was a known face not just within the county, but rather the state of Florida and beyond. This was due to his appearance in the hit TV show Live PD. He featured oh. in season four. That had aired just one year before this incident had taken place. On the evening in question, Deputy Royce James began to investigate the matter by first approaching the 13-year-old girl's friend to see if they had any additional information on where she could be. He instantly received an answer that would assist. She went to go meet a man named T. I think his name might possibly be Tyler. I know he's from Orlando, but that's about it. She told me that she was planning on going to a motel with him after meeting him at the Dollar General store in Oak Hill. With this information now in hand, Deputy James headed over to the Dollar General store. She is 13 in Oak Hill. All I had to go on was that he was possibly from Orlando and his first name started with a T. A, um, a juvenile left school and um, possibly was picked up by a guy here. I, I'm kind of wanting to get an idea of who he... Not gonna lie, he's putting in great detective work. I'm glad he didn't sleep on the call, man. And actually... Oh, got to be 24, 48 hours. No, go do something. He is, and I'm looking at today from school gets at around 3.15ish, so I'm thinking 3 to 3.30. I mean, is that like a super, super recent picture, though? She says she looks pretty much like this. It, might, it looks pretty close to her. Right, let's see if she's I can, Yeah, I can see. Hold on. When Deputy James Shout out to the Dollar Tree, the Dollar General employee. She working that camera good. It'd be hard to arrived at the store cameras. and began asking employees for any information in relation to the investigation. One stated that they had asked the young girl why she was loitering in the area. The girl had told the employee that she was waiting for someone. So it looked then as if step one was complete. The girl had been located outside of the Dollar General store. It isn't entirely clear what happened next, but the evidence doesn't suggest that surveillance camera footage assisted with locating the girl, but that didn't mean there wasn't other leads to follow. Remember the teen's friend had told deputy james that the girl had planned on going to a motel, motel. With tea. it was time to investigate further any motels in the area hello um hey so my name is uh, deputy james i'm wondering if um a juvenile and an, uh, another person checked in here earlier today 
Have you seen that? Her? No, she would have been here with an unknown, probably male. Hello. That looked like a hotel. That looked like a Marriott. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm looking for a juvenile that looks to be ran away from home today. Okay. And we have information she may have checked in to a local hotel with an adult. Um, this is what she looks like. Um, hey, he, shout out to this officer, man. He's not giving up as he shouldn't. Check ins today. Oh, what? Not like, not on this. No, never. I'm here. We go. This is a motel investigating a, um, a runaway juvenile okay. that supposedly checked into a local hotel okay. today with an adult, most likely. I don't know what he looks like or anything. Um, this is what she looks like. All right, someone checked in earlier when I, okay. when I wasn't here, so let me check out. Oh, perfect, okay. Do you have a name for that? Alaska? Yeah, her, well, her she's only 13, so I, I don't know the person she's with. Right. So it would have been whoever she's with. Well, right, stop trying to do your job correctly and get the, like, what do you mean? Do you know the last name? No. Don't you understand the severity of what's going on here? It's 9.02 p.m., what's going on? Yeah, she doesn't even have an ID. She's, again, only 13. You know, the person she's with? No clue. Well, check out this, this person that checked in today. Start with a T. Oh, where's this guy? I think this is him. They said his name started with a T, possibly Tyler. Front office. Anybody inside? We need to come in for a second. What's <laughs> it? Front office. Great detective work. My bad. This is not funny, but that was. He probably telling her to get in the bathroom. Sheriff's office. Back up. Busted. He know he busted. Have a seat on the couch. Dang, he in there with shorts on, basketball shorts on. What's up, sweetheart? Sheriff's office. Get Pappy up here. Go in the bedroom and wait for me for a second. How old are you? How old are you? Buddy's going to jail. Oh my God! Not oh, he's going to jail in Florida. Oh yeah, they 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 gonna get him. Just waiting there for me, sweetheart. Uh, okay. Are you okay? Do you need any? Are, are you hurt at all? You're not hurt at all. Your yeah, stomach hurts. Okay, we're gonna be right with you. Okay. Stomach hurts. Yeah, you go. How do you? If I ask you that question again, I'm gonna lose my mind. How old are you? Oh, you f***ed up. Yeah, you f***ed up real good. Yeah, and I go. Yes, I am. I found him. Stand for. How old is he? Too old. I'm on the way. Cuff. Man, cuff him. You sure you're okay, sweetheart? Okay. Deputy James successfully found the young girl in the early hours of the following morning, less than 12 hours after she went missing. He had searched three motels in total. The girl was located at the All Suite Motel on 335 North Ridgewood Avenue. If you couldn't tell by the body cam footage, she quite literally ran into his arms. When she saw I was a deputy, she came running to me and went into my left arm. She was thanking me for finding her, thanking me for saving her, and getting her out of that situation. Twin I hope they put every charge possible. Kidnapping, talking to a minor, R word, every, everything, every single one.
22 year old Tyler Thompson was arrested in connection with the incident and was charged on 30 different counts of child sex crimes. Uh, yeah, I knew it. I knew they was going to get them. 30 different ones. Crimes. Some of those include interference with child custody and using a computer to lure a child. In August of 2022, Tyler was handed a 40 year prison. <laughs> Them, them, them boys in there finna get him. He going in, Tyler, but he coming out. <laughs> Antoinette or something, I don't know. What's... Sentence, but had pleaded no contest. That means he didn't plead guilty or not guilty. They better not have to get took none off his sentence. During the hearing, the 13-year-old girl bravely gave testimony. It was right at the start of my shift. Um, I was working an overtime shift down in um, the south end of our county. And um, the call came out as just a simple missing juvenile. I went to meet with the uh, my juvenile's grandparents who she lived with. Well, that's disgusting. I lives with. And I learned she went to school that morning and was supposed to go to a basketball game thereafter. When they went to pick her up from the basketball game, they learned sh she went to school but never made it to the basketball game. So, um, I, again, I probed all the questions. Is this normal? Does she typically run away? Is she, you know, my, she, might she hang? Talking about my stomach hurts. She said her stomach hurts from what? And with one of her friends. So uh, everything was just negative. It was just weird why this kid would have gone missing. So I just basically started connecting the dots. I... Uh, contacted one of the juveniles uh, best friends in school and I learned she was at school earlier speaking about meeting up with a guy friend of hers who they were going to have a sleepover at a hotel okay um, so Red I started, number yeah How, 13 is a freshman in high school or or eighth grader I'm sorry Red flag number one, right? Huge red flag number one, right. So I'm still, you know, the, and these kids are pretty young. The story was kind of all over the place. So it, it could have been, you know, a lot of different things going on. So I decided to contact, uh, when speaking with a friend, I learned the only thing that was known about this, this guy was he was possibly out of Orlando and his first name starts with a T, possibly Tyler. Other than that, that's... Deputy Ross James, you deserve some type of medal. You did some great detective work. You never stopped the call of duty. You went beyond the call. You didn't go beyond the call of duty. You did exactly what you were supposed to do in that situation as an officer. And I commend it. That's all I had to go on. I inquired if uh, she was picked up from the school and uh, my ju the juvenile's friend said she probably walked up Facts. to the Dollar General. So seeing that as my next dot, I went over to the Dollar General, spoke with the store manager so I can view their security footage. Right around when school ended, sure enough, I see her walk into the Dollar General. Now she does have a cell phone, but the cell phone only works with Wi-Fi. So the second I see her walk in the Dollar General, her phone comes out and she immediately gets on her phone. The manager says they do have Wi-Fi there and it's open to the public. So I assume she connected to the Wi-Fi to start having communication with this this unknown guy i watched her for about 45 minutes in the dollar general and nobody ever approached her nobody ever spoke with her other than the clerk who inquired about why she is there so long and he says she's waiting for a ride so then i really really got concerned because you know this is confirmed by you know a store clerk and i in video footage of her waiting for somebody in the dollar general wow. yeah uh, after the 45 minutes was up at the Dollar General, I see her uh, look out and almost kind of recognize a vehicle or recognize somebody, and then she walked out and left. Unfortunately, the, the Dollar General does not have security camera footage outside, so I got no further, no further investigative leads to help me determine on who this guy is. So the only thing I... Bro, listen. This is nasty. Bro was in the room, shocked that he got caught, sitting still. Just looked like he looked like there was some evil inside of him. I don't like. I had to go was the fact that she may be in hotels, so I googled all the hotels in the local area and started going to them one by one. 
Oh gosh, you are You're the great. Okay. okay, keep going. Yeah. Sorry. Of course, this is hours after the initial call, so the clerks that are working at the hotels are possibly not even the clerks working when she arrived. So to take it a little step further, I started going through all of the daily check-ins one by one. I'm assuming if this person is, you know, driving age and they can rent a hotel, I'm at least looking for a person 18 years or older. But in my gut feeling, I'm looking for a younger male. I, I would, I didn't really get a feeling I'm looking for an older person. So I'm looking for a younger person, 18 to maybe 30 tops. And, and you have the first initial of their name, and that's it at this point. So. That's it. And, they, and they're possibly out of Orlando. Other than that, that's it. Uh, the first hotel I went to, I looked through the daily check-ins, and it was just families, you know, families, husband, wife, children. None of it really fit. I do this three times until I get to the third hotel, and then I notice um, one of the um, uh, people that have checked in, their license was printed in a vertical manner, which means they're 21 or under. That, it, that was inquisitive. So I, I got that driver's license number and discovered his name was Tyler, and his address was out of Orlando. So I, I got a little excited because all of the pieces fit, and he was 22 years of age. So. That's ultimately what led me led to the led to the room they were. Twenty two years of age, bro. You look like you could like go get somebody your age. Like, what are you doing? Like, I don't even understand it, man. I don't. I don't want to. I'm on YouTube, so I can't say too much. But like, bro, like, I hope they in jail just going crazy. That little girl ran to the officer's arm like, yes, please. I'm out of here.